Ok, this is our initial setting. Windows dimensions are 800 by 600 pixels. We're not going full screen, but if you do, set sampling to point, because we're using pixel art. Layout dimensions are 2400 by 1200. This is a scrolling game, so the layout is always bigger. Keyboard and mouse object has been added. And this grid is just because I like it. Don't mind it. Four layers. Background, hidden objects, gameplay, and heads up display. And in the background, I have a tile map already. You can see tile maps in more detail in this video here. For the platforms, I'm using another sprite. I find that method more flexible. Changing the snap option here. Ok, for the platforms we need to add a solid and a jump through behavior. The default option is going to be solid. Leave jump through disabled. We're going to use it only for the latter part of the platform. Now create our platform object. As usual, have a separate object handle all the platform movement and just pin another one with animations on top of it. We're going to add a scroll to, bound to layout and platform behavior. I'm trying to follow the original game, so I'm giving it a little acceleration and deceleration to the movement. In this particular case, we need to set up a jump sustain in order to have a variable jump height. As you can see, we can tap, press or hold the jump button and we get different heights. Let's use custom controls. That always gives you more flexibility on your movement. For the Mega Man sprite, I have a GIF file which contains all the animations. The artist who made these custom sprites gave me permission to use them in the video, so I'm putting the link in the description. To import the GIF file, just drag it inside the editor. Now we need to separate each animation. So I'm going to pause the recording here and see you in the next video.